Where is he? Oh my goodness! Holy shit! Why is there a polar bear in the normal woods? What in the hell? Oh shit! Ow! That hurt. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and I just made it home. And as you can see, um, I lost, well, I haven't completely lost, but mostly lost my wood uh, panels up there from storms uh, when I was out and about. And we have a thunderstorm uh, coming in as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, I did take the next points in the tech tree so I can now make these stone wall angled thingamadoodles. Uh, so we're going to need a total of six of those, it looks like. So let's make those now and get them in place and then screw these storms, man. We don't have to worry about them at all anymore. <clears throat> um, I have since found out that it's possible for wolves in particular to come through windows. Um, so maybe we will actually be making some windows for our base. Uh, we can't do that right this moment because I don't have the points for it. Um, it doesn't seem... The storms don't really seem to matter uh, in terms of the windows that doesn't seem to come through, but but I guess the critters can. So um, that's something we're going to probably want to do fairly soon. Okay, so let's grab these uh, six pieces here. Uh, we're going to need our... Oh! Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because this broke that we lost this cabinet. Oh my goodness! Okay, um, here, let's put a, as much in here as we can. I mean, not a whole lot. Wow! Okay. I just now noticed that. <clears throat> unless, unless maybe it's because I do have windows in here, but that doesn't make sense, though, because... Why, uh, why is the other cabinet, like, not damaged at all, you know? Put the, that in there. Okay, now we need to get the hammer. Upgrade hammer, which is here. Yeah, upgrade building tool. Um, and let's press R and go to stone. And then upgrade that. Upgrade that. Get this one. This one that one and this one here okay there we go <clears throat> that is weird though that we lost this one only thing I can think of is because this piece was damaged and some weather weather came through but see this is right in front of the window and there's no damage on it at all it has full durability likewise for our cooking station yeah I don't know man that's kind of weird well, anyways, uh, we got that done now, so we don't have to worry about it. I guess we're going to have to rebuild our other wood cupboard. Uh, do we have everything we need to do that right now? Um, we're going to need some copper nails and some wood in here. Okay, so do I have any copper? Ooh. Man, these storms are intense. But we don't have to worry about them now. <laughs> Piss off, storm. Piss off. Okay. Um, anyways, let's see. What are we doing? Um, nah, copper nails. We need copper nails. So, I've got two in here. How many does it say we need, we need for that? We need four. Okay. So, let's just make another batch of ten copper nails. And then uh, need, it said it needed a little bit of wood, too. So we should have wood in here. And now we can make that. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is that it... It must have uh, been because of that opening that we had. Because nothing else makes sense. 
Okay, so put this here. And put this here. And then let's... Oh, I hope we can still get it in there, even with this in the way. Oh, man! Oh, 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 oh. We just had it there. The other one's not quite lined up with it, though, is a problem, but you know what? Whatever. I guess I can move that one out if it really starts to bother me later on. Okay, so, um, this one is the one that contains all of our tools and equipment, our spare equipment, building items, that sort of thing. Um, no, those are... Those are resources. Uh, the sickle can go in there. Let's get the fire whack. Whoops. The fire whacker back on our toolbar. Uh, I'm going to put the nails in here. And we'll keep some wood in there too. Because we need to. And let's grab most of the leather out of here and put the, that in here. Oh. I, r I really wish we had a sorting option in this game. Um, since we have so much leather now from our little foray, excuse me, and quite a bit of coal too, or charcoal, let's also store these things in here. I love that shift control uh, click. Oh, look at that. I was able to pick this wood wall up, but it's still damaged. Interesting. That's the way it should be. Because usually in these survival games, um, you know, when you pick something up like that, it lets you... Oh, we got to put some fuel in our torches. Um, why don't we put some coal in those? Because it, presumably it'll, it'll burn for longer. Um, so let's take and split this up four ways. We'll put the 13 amount in here. And in here. And then you guys will take the other amounts. You're still burning a little bit, but... Probably, yeah, you have one stick left in there, so. There we go. Um, at, as you can see, too. Oh, there's a wolf right out there. I had a torch in the middle of the room, but it was kind of a pain in the butt to have it right in the middle. So I moved the torches to each side, and it lights it up pretty good in here. Lights it up pretty good. Okay. So, you know, now that we know that um, enemies can come through windows, we probably need to learn the windows. But I'm not, I'm not convinced that it's the, uh, that the storm does not maybe come through the windows. I don't know. But most likely it was just that broken uh, angle piece that we had that caused that other thing. Oh, nice shooting, OG. All right, um, let's get this arrow. No, get the arrow, arrow, arrow. There we go. Got to get my tools and stuff repaired, too. I mean, I literally just got home. Um, and then I had to log off in real life. So I haven't really done all, nothing, you know, uh, since I got back. I think I put a couple things away in the in the bins. There's a tree on fire over there. All right, cool. Oh, you know what? We need to upgrade our door, too. Uh, we are... We should be able to do that. Did I, did I do doors? Oh, maybe I didn't do doors. I guess I didn't. Okay, well, we'll just leave that one wood for now. It's not... It doesn't seem to be affected by the storms, but it could be affected by critters that attack the base. All right, so aside from the door <coughs> and windows, we're pretty much done with our, our starter build house. And, you know, this is just going to be the place we're going to live while we're building our, our main base, which, uh, if you didn't catch the first episode, 
when I, well, when I say first episode, I mean the first episode of this prospect. The plan is uh, I'm going to build the base on this little shelf here and have it go out over the water. Uh, so this is going to be our main main build. Um, we might even do something like on top of the rock, like have like a lookout tower or something like that. Um, you know, the other thing too is I need uh, I was I should probably get myself a lightning rod because apparently the lightning rod will. Well, actually, I guess we don't need to do it now that we can build stone, but it's something that we can use with the wood structures. Where is that? I've seen that somewhere. Is it in tier two? Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Lightning rod right here. <laughs> the effect of Minos's gravitational tides on the atmosphere creates extraordinarily powerful electrical storms, making these devices indispensable. Huh. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, to do that even now, uh, even though we're into stone. Because, you know, then lightning could still strike, you know, trees, for example, or even you if you happen to be out. I don't know if you have a lightning rod, if it's if it guarantees your safety 100%, though. I'm not sure. Oh, I just realized there's a mud pile right in front of our door. I didn't even know that was there. That's kind of gross. We're going to attract mud in the house. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. This is a starter house anyways. So, you know, my my intention all along with this house was just to make it you know, get it to stone so it's safe. And then, you know, it's just a util utility house. It's not our main house, so I don't want to put any more effort into it other aside from, you know, the windows and probably the door. Okay, so we learned the crossbow. And uh, so let's make this and check it out. we got to make that in the anvil bench. And we got all the stuff to do it. All right, and we also can make iron bolts. How many can we make in total? Only two. Oh. Wait, why? Oh, 31. Okay, sorry. Um, I don't want to use up all my iron. So why don't we make, say, 20. And we'll test them out. We're going to have to go back and get some more iron anyways. Now, while I'm here, let's repair all of our iron tools. Okay, so we'll grab the crossbow here and the bolts. Let's put this uh, meat in here. And uh, we're keeping fur and bones in here and sticks, I guess. Yeah, I guess we are keeping sticks in there. All right, now what's the comparison um, between the crossbow and the bow? So this does... Heavy hitting with a slow reload. It doesn't say how much damage it does. See, that says plus 25 projectile damage. This does not say how much damage it does. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's, um... Oh, did I learn another medical thing, too? I'm trying to remember if I did or not. Go back to tier one. We got the splint, the suture, the basic bandage, and the anti-poison. No, it looks like I haven't learned any of those other ones. Okay, that's fine for now. So, let's put... You know what? We're not using this bone spear. I think I'm going to retire the bone spear. And let's put the crossbow in slot one. We'll keep the longbow with us, too. Uh, for the moment, anyways. Because I, I'm not convinced I'm going to like the crossbow until I try it. And let's repair that as well. Oh, and we're very low on flint arrows. Um, so I'm going to keep the bone spear in here, but I'm not going to carry it around with me um, anymore. Uh, well, at least not right now, anyways. Okay. Look at that thing, man. 
so that's probably just you know how long it takes to reload uh, let's refill up our water here okay and I refilled my O2 yeah I, I already did that when we got back okay let's take a hit and then we'll just pop this in and top it off That's good to go. Uh, yeah, all right. So we need to make some more flint arrows, too. Uh, where do we... I guess we do that in here, right? Yeah, and we need raw ore for that. Do I have any raw ore left? Probably. Nope. Okay, we got to go mining. I got to remember to save a little bit of raw ore for that. I just put everything in the in the uh, smelter when we got back. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape overall. Um, I do have some watermelons in here, so we should go try, and we got lots of spoiled meat, too, uh, that we can use for medical stuff. So, uh, I'd like to actually make some fruit salad, so we need to find some berries. The problem is, it's dark, so we can't see a damn thing. Um... But let me go see if I can find a, a few berries in... I want to test out the crossbow, too. And unfortunately, I can't do anything about the dark. Well, if I sleep... If I sleep, will the watermelons... You know, lose more durability overnight like they would in real time? See, right now, they're right there. Okay, let's just sleep. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. Nope, that didn't seem to affect him at all. Okay. Alright, so it's still going to be dark in the early morning here, but it'll, at least it'll start getting lighter. Um, so yeah, let's go find some berries, and let's try out this crossbow. and see how we like it. Uh, this is the shortest way across the lake right here. Oh, by the way, you guys may have already uh, responded in the comments, uh, but I haven't seen them yet. Uh, but it looks like down trees will stay there indefinitely. Um, so at some point, I'll, I'll come over here and cut, you know, get the wood from those too. Okay, so we're looking for berries. Okay, there's a deer. Uh, let's stay crouched here. Oh no, that was a goat. Okay. Yeah, that reload time's not that bad. I mean, for a crossbow. Um, we might as well actually take this back to the to the table since we're right near the base, and we'll get more stuff from it, including a a bonus to the to the meat. Uh, I'm what I might actually do is build a bridge across this lake at some point. Because, I mean, it, it doesn't stop the animals, so there's no point in using it as a moat, per se. We'll just make it easier for us to get around. Okay, let's put this here. And we will harvest the shimmy. Yeah, see, it says plus 20 food when consumed. Uh, so you get a you get a bonus for that. All right, so let's um put. Oh, I guess we have to get the stuff out of the table, don't we? Maybe we should actually leave this stuff in here. There's lots of storage, except for the meat. Um. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll just leave that in there. Well, let's grab a stack of meat too, and a stack of barbecue carrots. And we are. Uh, oh, no, I don't want all of them. Just one. There we go. And we need to eat that. And then we're going to we're gonna find some berries for our third slot as we go out. Yeah, that exploration was fun, man. Uh, going all the way up. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you guys this either. Let's wait for the map to kick in. 
So on my return trip, um, I left you guys right about here, I think. And I just kind of kept following the northern boundary. This goes up into a valley. This drops down and it, it into a, a valley. This is actually really high right here. And this drops down into a valley, and then there's a little lake at the very end of it. So it's kind of a cool little cubby, I guess, if you will. And then I came around through here, and as you can see, this is another access to the snow biome here. Uh, and then I worked my way back along here. So we've pretty much uncovered that whole section. And we'll, you know, we'll be doing some more exploration episodes kind of coming down through this way, too. Um, it takes a long time to do that, though. Uh, but it's fun. So that's part of why we're here, is to explore the map and... Do all that good stuff. Okay, let's go find some berries and continue uh, to use our crossbow here. I guess we'll just cross right here. We might get bit by a piranha, but whatever. I've got plenty of the, the poison antidotes for... But like I said, I want to save those for... For caving. But I just heard a growl. All right, here's some berries here. I haven't really been over on this side to speak of yet. I'd like to try out the crossbow like on a, a larger animal, like a bear or a buffalo or something, just to see how much damage it actually does. Let's not worry about the goat there. I don't want to get too far away from the base because uh, we need to get back before those watermelons go bad so we can make our fruit salad. Uh, that's uh, soybeans. Oh, you know what else we're going to do in this episode? We're going to get some gardens going too. And we should try and get some watermelons planted in those gardens. But that's kind of going to be our second goal of the episode. Okay, there's a wolf around here somewhere. I mean, I, I know we know this crossbow is going to one-shot probably just about anything that we hit in the head. I mean, the bow does. So, the bow does. The crossbow definitely is going to. Well, I, I guess I should say if it's a sneak shot. All right. Where is that wolf at? I don't know where he is. All right. Let's, let's get a few more berries and then start heading back towards the base. Uh, I'll pick up some pumpkins, too. I might as well. And I'd like to plant... Well, we'll probably plant everything. But for starters, I want, I want to plant the watermelons because I seem to have the hardest time finding those in any quantity. And we need them for the fruit salad. But, we'll you know, we'll plant pumpkins and... We'll, coffee and soybeans and all that kind of stuff too. I hear some more berries here. Okay, there's a wolf. He did. Okay. He's a little bit far away from the base to take the whole carcass back, so let's just butcher him out here. Okay, we're going to go down into this valley here, and that's all the further we're going to go before we start heading back. So grab a few more berries, and uh, maybe if we we're lucky, we'll find some watermelons too. Oh, we got some light finally. Thank goodness. Uh, there's some watermelons. Okay, good. A couple patches of those. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So, I mean, the ones at the base should still be okay. We might have lost one of them by the time we get back, but we'll see. Grab some more berries. You could probably argue that I don't even really need to plant the berries because they're the most abundant thing, but you still have to go out and gather them, and it would be nice to just have them right there when we want to whoop up some fruit salad, you know? <laughs> okay, 
mean, there's a deer. I also want to get going on the wheat, too. Oh, there's another deer. I was looking at this one over here, though. Isn't there another one over this way? I don't know where he went. There's a wolf coming in for the carcass. Oh, he bled us. Little bastard. Where is he? Oh my goodness! Holy shit! Why is there a polar bear in the normal woods? What in the hell? Oh shit! Ow! That hurt. Why is there a polar bear in the normal woods? That's not supposed to happen. Oh my god. I think we might die. Can we even get away from him? Well, not now because our stamina is gone. Oh. What? He's a level 56 on top of that. Dudes. I had no idea polar bears could spawn in the normal woods. They're supposed to be in the snow. What the hell? Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> Oh, no. All right, well, we just lost a whole shitload of XP. That was some really bad luck. Really bad luck, and we still have our deep wounds on top of that. Oh, man. Okay, come on, survival games. Having debuffs continue on through death is just pure and utter bullshit completely and utterly and vehemently disagree with that for any game for any reason we just died all right anyway fiber bone and leather okay son of a bitch i was not expecting that fiber bone and leather all right let's make this to take care of our deep wound Okay. All right, deep wound is taken care of. Ah, okay, so that goes in there. Those go in there. All right, let's. We probably better not just run out there. Let's at least take something with us. So we we'll take the bow and the bone arrows and the bone spear. And we should probably make a bone knife, too. So what do we need for that? Um, bone knife. Wood, leather, and bone. Okay, so wood, bone, and leather's in here. Huh, for Pete's sake. That's bullshit. What in the hell is a polar bear doing in the normal woods? I mean, seriously, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, let's grab some food, too. I'm going to actually eat one of those so we get the third buff. All right. Let's go get our shit. That tree is still on fire? Really? Weird, man. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Has that happened to you? Have you run into a freaking polar bear in the normal woods? And what the hell? Oh, of course there's a... Oh, yes, guess who didn't make him a pick? Son of a bitch. All right. 
I hope my stuff sticks around for long enough. Um, fiber, sticks, and stones. Okay, so we need one more stone. There, okay. Let's get some sticks and fiber real quick. We're going to run towards our stuff as far as we can go, and then we'll just burrow into a rock. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, where is it, by the way? Oh, it's right here. Okay, we're going to put a, a marker on there. I It looked like the bear was moving away from the that location that he killed us in, so hopefully he'll be gone by the time we get there. I'm still just amazed that that even happened at all. I mean, seriously. What in the world? Now it really makes me a lot more wary of <laughs> being out in these woods. I mean, I've kind of been running around not too worried about much of anything. <clears throat> I definitely have respect for the bears, but, you know, I know I can kill them. I've killed four or five of them already. But this is a whole nother situation. I mean, I don't even know if I'm capable of killing a polar bear at this point. You know? All right, let's grab all of our stuff. What are we missing? Okay, let's get rid of this and this. I want the watermelons. And I don't really care a whole lot about any of the rest of this, actually. Here, let's drop that stuff. Guess we'll take the meat and the bones. I got plenty of spoiled meat. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's start heading back. Frickin' polar bear, man. Unbelievable. Whew. All right. We're running a little slow. Oh, let's, let's get the right stuff back in the right place. So we want the normal knife there. We want the crossbow here, and the longbow here, axe goes here, pick goes here, and then the rest of it doesn't matter so much. I don't, yeah, we're not going to make it back to the base before this bad part of the storm hits. Uh, so let's just go ahead and hunker down inside of here. Whoops. How's this? Yeah, this is good. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to wait for the storm to finish. It doesn't look like it's going to take too long. And then um, I'll meet you back at the base, and we will look at that. We lost almost an entire level. Oh, that's so painful. Oh, Lord. I'm looking at the XP gauge in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, my God. All right. Well, anyway, so I'll see you guys back at the base after the storm, and we're going to set down a few crop plots. All right, guys, we are back at the base. After that very, very unfortunate incident. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyway, um, so let's see. We'll put the raw meat in there to cook up. I'm going to put um, all of that in there. I grabbed a few more pumpkins. So we got a total of eight watermelons and 98 berries, which is good. Uh, let's get... Let me get the rest of my stuff back the way it's supposed to be. So give me a second to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves some crop plots. So do we have to do that in here? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so we're going to need sulfur and wood. Uh, sulfur should be in here. Let's grab a stack of that. And we'll grab some wood. I don't know how many of these we're going to actually make. Uh, how many can we make? Five? Okay, let's make five. We'll start with that. We can actually make more than that. Looks like it's the... The wood that was the limiting factor, which, of course, we have a lot more wood in here. Maybe we'll make ten then, because it looks like that used half of the sulfur. Why isn't it giving me the option for max? Oh, is it because it's currently crafting? Oh. Okay, whatever. We'll just start with five. Um, also, where we're going to set up this garden is not necessarily going to be the permanent 
set up for those either. Or these gardens, rather. Okay, so let's grab all of these. And go outside. Um, we have a pretty flat area right here. So I think we might as well just utilize, yeah, this area here. The thing is, though, is I don't want the undergrowth to be poking through the crop. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, one thing they showed me in the multiplayer game is that you can put these on foundations, on even wood foundations, and if, as long as you cover the foundations, that, that they don't take weather damage. Um, which we might ultimately do, but I think for now... You know, we have this little open spot here. So I think for now, let's just utilize this. So we'll put all these in place here. I'm not worried about getting them perfectly lined up. Just, you know, reasonably looking good. Eight hundred and sixty crit on him. All right, why, why isn't it letting me pick him up? It's not giving me the pick up option. I've noticed that before. I could skin him. It's because he's too big. Huh? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because he's too too large. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, all right. So, right now we have pumpkin, berries, watermelon, and carrots. So, I'm going to put... Can we just do this? Do we need to put all seven in there, though? Uh, split stack. So I guess we get two for one. Fair enough. Okay. Um... I wish I knew how to separate one item. Is it alt? Oh, yeah. Hold down alt. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll put pumpkins there. Let's put um, berries here. How come nothing shows up there? Oh, because it... Okay, it converts it to... Oh, I know why you would put more in here. So it'll just keep growing automatically. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So let's load these up. I wonder if they, do they continue to spoil in here? They probably do. Um, let's split this in half. Put the berries there. Uh, we'll put carrots in here. So let's split these in half. And then um, for now, what is this again? This is pumpkins. Uh, I guess we'll just... Let's do another thing of watermelons in here. Uh, actually, hold on a sec, though. What do I need to make a fruit salad? I want to make at least one. Uh, just one watermelon. Okay, let's make two fruit salads. All right, look at this stuff. 100 food, 75 max health, 75 max stamina, and then 10 less oxygen water consumption. Okay, that's pretty good. Definitely better than just the berries and the watermelon by themselves. Okay, let's put the rest of the watermelons in here. And, you know, I'll continue to expand uh, these crop plots as, you know, as I go along. And we'll start getting some of the other stuff like the soybeans and the wheat and the, you know, the coffee and the cocoa and the other stuff we come across. <coughs> and we'll just have ourselves a nice little garden out here. And I guess it just grows by itself. Doesn't look like I need to water it or anything like that. Um, it does look like 
these will continue to to go down though so I wonder if you know that being the case it might make more sense for me to use these now and then whenever we get a new crop we always just cycle another one in if these are going to continue to go bad here because otherwise they're just going to go bad and we're not going to be able to use them at all okay all right so let's use the rest of our watermelons for fruit salad and we needed the animal fat for the creamed corn but I have to get the corn first uh, oh yeah corn's another thing we want and then squash if we come across it I still haven't found squash at all all right look at this stuff delish man delish okay now, everything else um, that's raw, we're going to just cook. Uh, so the meat, well, let's actually turn this into fat and we'll just hang on to it. But we'll barbecue up the carrots. Uh, yeah, we'll barbecue up the carrots, the meat, the pumpkin, that sort of thing. Uh, all right, go here and let's make some animal fat. I don't know if the fat will go bad or not. It doesn't look like it's got a... An expiration bar which is good and I'm just gonna keep it in there okay cool all right awesome um can we still eat berries for a second stomach slot yes we can okay and then we have uh, the carrots and stuff there all right you guys well I think that's it for this episode it was extremely unfortunate unfortunate that we got ambushed by that polar bear uh we lost almost an entire level which is a big deal especially when you start getting up to you know level 19 oh it's very frustrating but i mean it happens so what can we do right so i'm going to um not sure what we're going to do in the next episode quite yet so i'm probably maybe going to spend uh, some off camera time uh, doing some more grinding trying to get that level back and then once i do hit the next level Maybe I'll bring you back at that point, and then we'll proceed from there. Uh, but I wanted—I do want to get started on our, our main build um, over here. So that's that's our overriding goal, we'll say. Um, and then we'll continue, you know, doing stuff as we go along. Once we hit level 20, you know, then we're going to be able to get into tier 3. And now we're talking about, you know, a concrete, binoculars, um, biofuel drill. Interesting ceiling lights what else do we got here uh, oh looks like we have more advanced medicine that we can make that's good a stove bread dough and jam and platinum oh yeah that's going to be nice platinum tools definitely want to do that and we do have some platinum in that first cave too oh, oh and guns all right bolt action rifle shotgun and pistol these are kind of like pipe looking weapons, but hey, uh, we'll do it. And then this is where we can get better armor. Oh, you know what? We, we made the, or we learned the armorer bench thing, didn't we? Um, hold on a sec before I let you go. Uh, we'll probably make that in here, right? Yeah, the textiles bench. Let's make this really quick and just see what it gives us. So we need some sticks and stone. Uh, there's no sticks in there. We got some sticks in here, and we should have stone in here. I completely forgot we learned that. I'm going to have to mine up some more stone, too. Yeah, let's make this sucker and just see what we can get from it. Hopefully we can make the leather armor. I've got so much leather, it's ridiculous from our little trip that we took. Okay, how big is this guy? Ooh. Kind of sizable, isn't it? Uh, righty. Let's see. Where are we going to put this thing? You know what I might do is build an upper floor to put the bedroll. And then move a few things around and maybe put this over on this side. Like, I could move the crafting bench over here and maybe have enough room to fit this in here. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do for now 
is I'm just going to put it, uh, let's put it like right here. This is temporary. I just want to look at it and see what we can do with it. Oh, really? So all we can do is make rope with it for now? It's probably because, uh, hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's go back to tech tree to tier two. Are there armor options in tier two? Yeah, right here. Okay, we have to. We just have to learn this leather stuff here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So no point in having this down right at the moment. So I'm gonna pick it back up and just store it until we learn. You know, can start learning those leather pieces. So we're just gonna keep it in here for now. Um, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to and share out the video. And watch out for polar bears in the normal woods. It's bullshit. Bye.